What it do, YouTube? What it do? So, I've been wanting to talk to y'all all day about this topic. And, I mean, it's Wednesday, the day of communication. So, I've been having a lot of communication going on. And we coming out of a Mercury retrograde. So, it's been a little hectic. Okay? But, anywho, we're going to go into the topic. The topic is hexes and curses. Okay, so I'll be getting in my car in a minute because my children have got in the damn car like it ain't 9,000 degrees out here. But I brought them to the track because they wanted to run. So, yeah. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. So, before I forget, hexes and curses. Now, there was a lady that put together a hex doll for a friend. And she was a newbie. You can tell she was a newbie by how she put the shit together. But you know, she'll learn to get more efficient as time goes on. But while she was being clowned and roasted, she exhibited a fundamental principle of hex and curse work that a lot of folk don't understand. Now, she had the bright idea to uh, urinate or put some urine in a jar with some bleach. Okay. So, you know, I'm sure we all have learned not to be mixing bleach with shit because it's a fucked up comes right but she did this everybody's roasting her oh that's basic science magic is science magic is also practical okay a lot of people be doing this hex work and it look all pretty it got all these nice ingredients in it and you know they burnt their little candle and it's a hex yes over work that's just a weight room. I ain't taking y'all over there. Y'all do that with y'all daddy. So, uh, and they call it a hex. Just because you got a skull candle or something that look creepy sitting up there don't mean you did no hex work, baby. See, hex work is baneful shit. And let me tell you something. <clears throat> if you doing some hex work and that shit didn't damn near kill you or fuck you up, your hex work you're gonna get a small amount see when you're doing some hexing and i mean you really about that motherfucker be that's nasty that's some nasty work and that's some shit you as the practitioner even want to get the fuck away from you understand if your hex work ain't fucking with you while you creating it it ain't gonna fuck with them. Practical shit. No, you not just finna get some motherfucking drawers and bury them holes. No, you not just finna get some hair and fucking burn it. No. No, see, you can do the drawers and bury them and all of that type of shit. But them need to be some dirty motherfucking drawers. And be dirty draws. Cause you hexing some shit. See, when you hexing some shit, you going for the shadow. You understand? You going for the shadow of that person. You know what I'm saying? Well, I have some nasty shit. What is the shadow? I, I think I've talked to y'all about this before. Long story short, the shadow is the part of that person that they ass don't even want to see. You want to attack that shit. That's where you, that's where you trying that curse to hit. You know what I'm saying? That, that shadow is where people fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hide shit from light. You know, I don't want nobody to know this. So if you want to hack somebody, you want to aim it towards that shadow. And you can't do that if you sitting up here putting up these pretty ass spells and shit. What, what you doing? I remember I had one client. This motherfucker is supposed to be doing a cord cutting and, and taking sugar baths. Hold, hold on. Hold the fuck on, bitch. Wait. 
Wait. Why you why you taking a sugar bath for some shit you trying to get rid of? Sugar is sweet. Sugar attracts things. And you done put a sugar in your fucking head. Then you not putting it on the person. You putting it on yourself. Man, what you doing? What going on? And then you wonder why your shit don't work. Because you doing dumb shit. Magic is very practical. And at the same time, it's a very mystical thing. So, basically, I just want to let you know. If your head work ain't fuck you up. Or scare the shit out of you while you was creating it, then it ain't about shit. Y'all stay dark and lovely. I swear you love me.